Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Today I'm gonna to show you the most versatile French cleat system I have ever seen. This is developed by a gentleman named Pete. More on that later, but let's dive right into this. I'm gonna show you where you can get it. And also, you know I developed something for it as well. Let's go. Okay, so the reason I'm here today to show you this, I've never seen a French cleat system quite like this. It really has blown my mind. Here is a, well, basically a few illustrations of how it's gonna go in your shop when you get it. I'm gonna show you where to get it. The link is gonna be down below. It's actually on the screen right now as well. And it's only made from a half inch piece of Baltic birch plywood. But the crazy part is, look how strong this is. It's pretty awesome. He's actually walking up the wall with those brackets used on this French cleat wall. Pretty insane. Anyway, these are manufactured by the Woodshed. You may have heard of it. It's April Wilkerson's um, CNC manufacturing facility. Um, I'm proud to be a part of this as well. Uh, I've developed something for it to help you guys when you get these. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you how you can use the product that we're making here to kind of coincide with this. More on this is gonna come of late in this video, but just check this out. I'm really jazzed about this one. Let's go. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna let Pete explain this in full detail. This is a French cleat wall panel. It was milled out of a single sheet of half inch plywood. There's holes for securing it to the studs and it's great for tool storage, for holding things up and organizing your workspace. And April Wilkerson's company, the Hill Country Woodshed, is manufacturing these for us and we are currently selling them on our website. They're super strong, they're a lot of fun. And what's really cool about them is they fit with themselves. So you can cut off a piece, turn this into a holder, flip it around, and it should slide in if I can do this one-handed, really securely, and they hold a lot of weight. So you turn that into a holder, and this goes on your wall. A uh, ton of other videos on my feed about these. If you're interested, check them out. Well, I definitely hope that has piqued your interest in these. Everything is going to be linked down below when you finish watching this video. Go down there and check it out. So what you're seeing me do here at the Crosscut Slow was cut down some of the back pieces that can hold all kinds of different stuff. But before we get into all that, we're going to talk about joining these together with a piece of quarter inch plywood. Reason being, if you guys know me, I have French cleats everywhere. So I'm going to cleat the cleat panel. Yes, I know a little bit of French cleat inception, but that's going to be all right. And you know, I've been doing this a long time now with the French cleats, and you would think that I wouldn't make such a bonehead mistake as I'm about to show you <laughs> right here. The cleats are facing opposite directions. Can you believe that? You know, just absent mindedness. I did it the wrong way. All right, easy fix. Actually really glad I didn't put any glue on that second panel. I guess maybe somebody knew I was gonna mess up and that's why I didn't do it. Either way, we're gonna go ahead and take one of the French cleats that we have cut down. We're gonna put it on the back of these panels. I'm gonna screw it in with some of these holes that were mentioned before. These are spaced every four inches for studs, but it really works out to be convenient to go ahead and attach this cleat to it. And then here we go. Let's go ahead and put it up on the wall. And of course, I'm gonna anchor it on the bottom with a couple of three quarter inch screws as well. These things are super cool. A couple little details here for you. The cleats are spaced four inches apart. Each cleat is milled or cut on the CNC to be two inches. And then the void in between each one is two inches as well. And the thickness of the cleats is only a quarter of an inch. But honest to gosh, you saw in the beginning, the dude was able to walk on it. <laughs> Pretty awesome. So I'm going to sand some of these pieces down. I'm going to use these and incorporate these in maybe a couple of examples for you later. But also got something up my sleeve that I'm really excited to show you. So with the adjoining mounting pieces that come with the kit that you can cut to any size you want, they're ready to go and I'll sand it down. I'm going to give you an example of how to hang up a clamp rack. Here we go. Basically, I've got a clamp rack that holds all kinds of stuff, whatever you want. We're going to CA glue the back of it, align this up. And then again, I'm going to just go ahead and reinforce with some screws. And yes, these are called trim screws. In case you're wondering, I get questions about these all the time. I'm gonna put a link down below on my favorite online hardware store. They are the best. All right, so here you go. Up on the wall, we're gonna load it up with clamps. Pretty neat. No frills, but man, is this slick. 
So you'll see later in the video, I actually put a bunch of parallel clamps up there, which was a great test of strength. But also, if you have any items, smaller items that you've used on your existing French cleat wall, here's a remote holder for one thing. It's easy to incorporate these into this panel as well. All you got to do is make sure your bottom support piece goes right there below. And you don't really necessarily need only a quarter inch cleat. You can still use a three quarter inch. As long as you support it correctly, you're good to go. Now here's an example of a shelf that's pre-made with cleats. I'm going to show you just how versatile this new product I've come out with is really going to come in handy. All right, so here we go. You could use these. You could somehow incorporate these pieces in there and it would probably work all right, which I know it would. But an easier solution to me was to come up with something like this. I'm introducing these, these are called Pete's Cleats, right? These are basically Pete's Cleats brackets. They're gonna be on my website as well. And let me show you how they work. If you've seen a previous video of the cleat anything, anywhere type things that I've come up with already, these are very similar, but they're definitely exclusive to this system. Now, installation is pretty easy. I'm just using CA glue here. You can use wood glue, brad nails, whatever you want. But you wanna make sure they're exactly the same distance from the edges Take your time here, line them up, and I line the top of the bracket with the top of the existing shelf, and that makes it congruent for sure. Now, I do like to reinforce things with some screws sometimes, just to give you an example. Countersink, these are only half inch screws, but this is plenty strong, guys, I'm telling you. What a cool system. You can move it around, and these brackets fit so snugly in there, the tolerances are very great. And this is a place to display some, maybe some resin art. What do you think? Or for a bit more function, you can use a living hinge cell phone holder and put your smartphone up there. But then you might be thinking, your original tool holder design, Chris, is there something that you can use? Well, yeah, that was the reason I developed these, honestly, was to put the original tool holders on any cleat wall instead of having to screw them into the wall, and there you go. This happens to be the tool holder XL, which holds many different larger tools. Love how this works. Now, sometimes you get lucky, right? This is a CA glue caddy, and it is exactly proportionate for these walls where you don't need to add those cleats. Now, you can if you want to, and you might need to on various other things. I'm actually looking at my cleat wall going, what can I add and give you another example of something that I have? Well, we might as well put something fancy up there, right? I mean, this is the fanciest cleat wall I've ever seen that he made. So why not go ahead and put some woodpecker's accessories up there as well? And this is pretty simple. This is just a small piece of walnut, really thin, that I mounted a couple screws in, put a cleat on the back so I can hold some of these precision squares. And again, there you go. There's the example of just kind of tacking it in place, putting it on this new system, and fanciness complete. And every maker wants to brand their stuff. And I have a little logo here you thought was just sitting in the window, but nope, it's actually got a little bracket attached to it. Yeah. That's good. I don't know if you noticed these before, but let me explain exactly what these are if you don't already know. There you go. I'm actually honored. Pete, thank you so much for allowing me to help you develop something for this system. I'm really proud to be a part of this whole process. And also, you see these things right here? These signed boxes and pieces of plywood. If you recognize these, if your signature is on here, let me know. You know where they're from. They're from WorkbenchCon. Also, I will be attending WorkbenchCon this year, 2023. I'll be up there probably hanging out mostly in the Total Boat booth, but I'll be there to see all, all my old maker friends, and it'll be just, it's a great camaraderie. It's a great time, so if you're not going to go, I'll put the links to that down there below. I do want to show you something funny, though. Right? So the first WorkbenchCon, I didn't do this, but the second one I did. I brought this piece of plywood in. A lot of people signed it, man, and I had a black Sharpie marker. It was being passed around. It was pretty cool. One person decided to sign it in red. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder who that was. Love you, buddy. <laughs> All right, guys. Check the links down below. Check out Pete Squared. Get these French cleat panels in your, in your shops. They are so cool. And thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. So make your way to the description to find Pete's website where you can buy these panels and my website where you can get the brackets for them as well. Thanks for watching, everybody.